Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we are going to be going over Melodic Steps. Now, Melodic Steps is a Max for Live MIDI effect. It is a very fancy arpeggiator, and you can get some really kind of cool things going on. Uh, there could be a step sequencer, uh, poly rhythm maker thing, randomizer, and uh, it does all sorts of cool stuff. I'm going to add in poly and just give that a thing like that. All right, so uh, that's uh, Melodic Steps into Poly. This is the kind of default, um, I guess, uh, sequence that uh, appears, and I'm just going to hit the X on all of these and kind of go through the one by one. So when you hit X, it kind of returns it to uh, default. So how it works is, you have your steps up here, and then you have what those steps are affecting. So octave, transpose, note length, velocity, how hard you're hitting the note, and uh, chance. Now chance is the chance of the note being hit. So a cool thing about this is you can have basically multiple different sequences happening at the same time, uh, different lengths of sequences, so they won't line up. So you can get like this kind of chaotic rhythmic kind of situation going on it sounds pretty cool once you get into it and uh yeah how it works is each of these is a step each of these squares is a step and the blue part is the step that's currently playing so if i hit play you'll see that the blue part is kind of not one-to-one -one, or it's not like synchronizing with everything else it just keep, kind of keeps on going Right, so you can get some cool stuff there. If I, you know, if I hit, if I right click and I select the length on each of these, yeah, it'll it'll be synced. That's like a that's like a, you know, it's kind of boring. So I want to kind of play around with that. So let's start with uh, octave first. Now octave is kind of like up and up and down the key. So like you C one and this is C1 right here, right there. If we go up, it'll go C1, C2, and then C1, C1, kind of like this. All right, so we've got a cool sequence going on there, and it's, you know, four kind of things per pattern. Uh, four, sorry. Uh, my brain. It's uh, kind of synchronizing with the music and it's happening with the beat. I'll just let you know what that sounds like. So each one of these is a 16th, right? So each one of these squares is a 16th. When you got four of them, you got a quarter. So this is basically why it sounds the way it does with the beat playing. It sounds kind of cool. And this is uh, the octave and you can do cool things on this side right here. You can just randomize. You can randomize slightly. All right, I'll just turn that off. And that is uh, octaves. So this is kind of like um, an arpeggiator. So an arpeggiator would be like a pattern, kind of like this, right? Like the, the the default Ableton ARP would sound like that. It'll just go up or up down or down. You know what I mean? But you know you can kind of change it around. Right, and that sounds cool. So I hit X, reset it. Transpose. Transpose is different. Um, it kind of doesn't do full-on octaves. It does kind of notes up and down the keyboard in the scale of your choosing. So I'll hit minor and uh, whatever. I'll just yeah do whatever, hit the root note. So uh, down all the way down here is the root note, and you can go up um, and down and just do some stuff like that. So I hit a, I'll hit a root note, this is B. And I'll make this a little bit longer, like that. And that's uh, pretty neat, if you ask me. And uh, yeah, that's the, uh, the transpose. And we can randomize, like so. And we can also randomize the octave, and uh, these will kind of be playing next to each other. Sounds a little boring, but what we can do is we can 
shorten it to three. So this will reset more than this, and it'll take a while for it to like kind of line up again. Right, pretty cool uh, sequence, uh, super, super easy, and um, you know, with that you can just go off to the races and just have uh, like something that's kind of random but not random. That makes sense because it's uh, it's locked to your uh, scale and root and locked to an octave, so you don't need to worry if you're working in octaves. But if you're transposing, um, like per semitone, you have to kind of worry, but you know, it kind of locks it there. Really clever. Um, I enjoy that. So, uh, from here, depending on the depending on the patch, you can have note length. That'll kind of go up and down. I don't know if this patch right here will do it. Or like note choke. So you can have that kind of off. Maybe like that. And then you can do like these cool, like kind of transitional things. Some interesting uh, sticky note things going on there. But yeah, that's that's basically the the note length. It's how long the uh, the note length is, and it can be kind of short, all the way short, which is off, or long. It'll kind of just take up the whole thing, which is pretty cool. Uh, velocity uh, is how hard the note is pressed. You can have like a cool kind of side chainy thing. Or just have like a long kind of randomized uh, kind of sequence or evolving sort of thing going on. Which uh, could sound good uh, depending on what you're doing. And uh, chance. Chance is the note being hit or not. So this adds like another layer of randomness. So every time the square uh, or the, the blue part goes over the square, it will kind of say, oh, it has a chance for the note to actually hit. So right now it's 100% chance. If we do 50 each note, I'll have a 50-50% chance of hitting. Right. So with that, you can you can kind of do some interesting uh, gated things with the chance um, option here. So yeah, if you have a hundred percent chance and then zero percent chance, it's basically a note on and note off. As you can kind of hear a pattern in there. Uh, that's kind of really super long, but it's it's made that way because you know these patterns are weird and uh, different sizes. So uh, there is that. So yeah, let's just uh, resettle that. So uh, off to the side here, we have the scale and root, and this is really useful. So you have like whatever you're working on, you're just like, oh okay, I want like a, a, a sequence or something that'll make sense contextually in our song so there's no like awful notes that you're like oh i've got to go in and fix that you can uh select uh, chromatic major dorian blah 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 all these sort of things minor and you can hit the root note and uh you're off to the off to the races oh something else i want to get we can uh change the playback speed or like you know divide it or multiply it and get some cool things going on. And have uh, triplets. So we can get uh, dead mousy with it. And then we can add a uh, swing if we're kind of adventurous. Which has like another dimension to the whole thing, which I think is uh, pretty neat. Resync, uh, if you hit this, will automatically reset all these blue parts to the beginning. 
and uh, MIDI uh, will dictate so that like okay, no root note is going to play, or you you lost the ability to select a root note. So when you play it on your keyboard, your push or whatever, that's when the sequence will start. So you can get some cool stuff going on with that. So uh, that that basically uh, wraps it up. Melodic steps. It's a uh, pretty fun, pretty interesting, and uh, yeah, it's in Ableton Live. Max for Live. Go get it. Hope you enjoyed. Take care and have a good one.